All right, guys, want to do a quick video about choosing the right lead. So a lot of people have asked about, oh, what size lead do you use for this? Or what size lead do you use for this? Well, it varies based on the depth of water. So like, for example, if you're doing a 39 hour trip and you look at the website, we suggest using six, eight, 10 ounce leads, but that varies depending on the moon phase and the depth of water fished. For example, if you're fishing in 80, 100, 120, 140 foot of water, six, eight ounce leads work. But if we go out into 140 to 180 foot of water, then you need more like an eight ounce lead. Then if we go to 200, 250 foot, maybe an eight to 10 ounce lead. If you're closer to a new moon or a full moon, maybe you need a 12, 14 or 16 ounce lead. So you got to think about not only the time of year uh, or not the time of year, but the moon phase and also the depth of water fish. So there's always a wide variety, especially on those longer range trips. 12 hour extreme, 39 hour trip, 44 hour trip. It's a really good idea to have four, six, eight, 10, 12, and maybe even 14 and 16 ounce weights. That way you're really well prepared for whatever current situation you might run into while you're on one of these long range trips. Because you don't want to get out there and then realize that the current's running really strong and you don't have a large enough weight. You can always double up on eight ounce leads to make a 16 ounce lead. But what happens is as you drop to bottom, those leads separate and then you get a tangle in between those leads often, even more often. So you really want to try to stick to a single egg sinker. And the only way to do that is make sure it's in your tackle box and you're prepared for the trip. So when you look at the website and it says, hey, we recommend four ounce leads on a 10 hour trip. Well, if you bring a little spinning rod, you might need a one or two ounce lead. If you bring a big conventional rod with 60 pound mainline, you might need a six ounce lead. So it also varies not only with the depth and the moon phase, but also what tackle you're using. If you're using a nine knot, rod, nine knot reel with a hundred pound mainline, you're gonna need a heavier lead than if you're using a, a 4,000 series spinning reel with braided line for hogfish, you know? So you want to make sure you uh, bring proper lead for the depth of water, the current, and the proper tackle you're using. Bigger main line needs a bigger lead. Smaller main line needs a smaller lead. And look around you, because in a party boat setting like this, if one guy is using a three ounce lead and everybody else around him is using a six or eight ounce lead, you're going to have a lot of tangles. But if everybody's using the same size lead, you're not going to have tangles. But if everybody's using the same size lead and one person's using 30 pound test and everybody else is using 80 pound test, you're still going to get the tangles. So you got to really pay attention to what people are using around you and try to keep your line away from them. If you're using lighter tackle or lighter lead or just wait and make sure that you're dropping in first and get out ahead of them or you're casting way up current to make sure your line's not going down current to where everybody else's line that's using uniform tackle is and you want to make sure you stay out of their way because you're the one using different tackle so really got to keep that in mind pay attention to the situation around you if there's more lines in the water it's a good idea to just stay uniform and use similar tackle to those fishing around you that'll give you a better experience a more positive experience less tangles and more fish in that fish box don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing you're just too busy